I just installed a brand new bidet for my toilet and my booty is very happy. So I ordered this project um, off of Amazon, about 25 bucks, um, big cow company, uh, dual, what's that, uh, dual valve nozzle bidet by big cow. First things first, we're gonna to have to remove the toilet seat. So you do that by these two tabs in the back. Mine uh, takes a screwdriver. There's a nut in the back. Just have to unloosen both of those. Take that off. After that, we're going to turn off the water supply, <clears throat> empty all of the water out of the tank. I'm going to do that by giving the toilet a couple flushes. Now we're going to disconnect the water supply hose. Next, we're going to install this T valve. Now make sure that your rubber washer is inside there before you apply this. And before you put that on there, make sure you put the thread tape or Teflon tape over the threads. Now that we got all our Teflon tape on our threads, we're gonna install this T-valve, making sure the part is facing out. Now this needs to be hand tight. You don't have to put a wrench on this at all. Reconnect the water supply. Now it's time to install the dual nozzle bidet. But before that, we have to add these non-slip mats.
here. Now you want to apply your adjustable mounting brackets. And put the toilet seat back on. After the toilet seat install, make sure there's no gaps. Now I'm about to install the flexible stainless hose. We about done with this bad boy. Now we're gonna connect it to the main bidet, but I forgot to put on my thread tape, so fuck. Notice everything is hand tight. We're going to turn on the water supply and check for leaks. Now at this point, if there's any leaks, you want to tighten it down with a wrench. We got no leaks in this bad boy. Now let's check and see if this thing works. Oh. Well, I'll be damned. It works. That's it, man. Um, now I'm going to check for leaks as the unit is on. Good to go. Likes and subscribe. Thanks. We out.